Hello, this video is about writing topic sentences or thesis statements using a rhetorical question plus a statement as a device. Remember, our purpose here is to grab the attention of the reader or with whatever you're writing about. And so a rhetorical question are one of those questions where you ask the reader a question, but you don't really expect them to answer. In fact, you're asking the question to emphasize that the answer is obvious, and that statement is your answer, and it's actually your position. So this isn't, you aren't necessarily um, writing a factual statement. You're writing an opinion statement that's masquerading as a fact, right? Of course, you could write a sentence that you could write a question and the answer, and it's, it is in fact a, a fact. But the way you're presenting it is that you're emphasizing that relationship. And that's where the, the opinion comes in. Okay. So rhetorical questions are questions that writers ask, but they don't really expect the reader to actually answer it. Instead, the rhetorical question is meant to grab the attention of the reader. So these questions tend to be provocative. They tend to um, be attention getting to uh, be controversial, like, um, okay, how about pets? All right. If you believe, uh, so hmm, a question might be, is having pets a sign of a true animal lover? Yes, it does. Of course, you might be going, well, that's obvious. Well, that's why you do it. But here I could be more controversial. Is having pets a sign of being an animal lover? No. Real animal lovers don't treat them as objects or possessions. Now that is a rhetorical question plus a statement, and it's a, an opinion. Uh, and of course, you probably disagree with me, but um, that's kind of the idea. You want to grab hold of the, you're going to take a topic, grab hold of the attention of the reader by your answer. So you're going to use your rhetorical question as a way of setting the occasion, giving the reason for what you're writing about, stating the topic. But your answer, your statement, is meant to be provocative, to be an opinion, to be that position you're going to prove. What is the greatest musical movement of our lifetime? It's hip hop, of course. See? Okay, let's look at some of the examples on our display here. Didn't mean to ignore it like that. How about, here's our occasion for writing. Is peace in the Middle East possible? And then here's the position somebody wants to take and write about and prove. Many B Americans believe it is. How about this one? Do you have a hard time remembering vocabulary, the meaning of vocabulary words? Try associating them with something you do remember. And so someone's going to go out and list a bunch of strategies to remember vocabulary words. How about this one? And in fact, some of you could even write a whole paragraph about this. Have you read Hatchet by Gary Paulson? If you haven't, you should. So we use these rhetorical question devices to ask what we consider is an, uh, an obvious question with an obvious answer. And we give the question and we give the answer. And that is what we're going to write about. So once again, the rhetorical question gives us that occasion or topic for writing. The answer that you put immediately after it is what you plan to prove or explain in what you're writing. Thanks.